West, we have all three California teams that did not make the return to play tournament this summer, which means the teams that we were used to seeing compete for the Pacific Division title each and every year, talking about the Kings, the Sharks, the Ducks, they were all terrible last year. What do you expect out of them this year? Um, you know what, Jamie, when, when I played in the league and for a very long time, anybody you talk to, when you were on that California trip, sure, you pack your sunglasses. You're, you're excited for the weather, but you're you're nervous for the games because they you, it's tough. It, yeah. it could be a fun trip or it could be miserable because you could, might go 0 for 3. That mm -hmm. hasn't been the case. So I'm going to watch which one of these Canadian or sorry, uh, Californian teams is going to get back in the saddle and get back going. Mm -hmm. And two of them that stand out to me, are the LA Kings and the, the Anaheim Ducks. I, I just think that those two teams – uh, have done a very nice job over the last few years of building and the prospects up. And uh, as you look at prospects here for the Los Angeles Kings, you know about Quentin Byfield? Yeah, just what, got, six points the other night? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And, and, and having him, Turcotte, Velarde, Kaliev, we saw Kaliev score a big goal for Team USA uh, yesterday. Uh, you know, they, they have a lot of young talent. So now it's about infusing those talented players with a roster it's a little bit older mm -hmm. and I when I look over to Anaheim I, I see even more loaded prospects so I, I, it's going to be interesting for me Trevor Zegers uh, Jamie Drysdale is an absolute stud yeah. so keep, keep an eye on these these prospects for both these two teams in California because you know what um, neither none of those I'm not going to put San Jose out of the mix but none of those teams are ready to win today okay but these two teams, the Kings and Ducks, are building, and they're building a good one here for the future. That's exciting. So, which of those three finishes highest in the standings? I'm going to go with the. I'm going to go with the Ducks. I'm going to go with the Ducks because I think they have um, the top three goaltender in the league, Ooh, in John Gibson. Yes, yes. He's that good. I think if he was playing on a better team, you might be see different Vesna Trophy winner over the last couple of years. So. He, he is the real deal. I think the Anaheim Ducks are going to be higher. Okay. California, where it used to be so hard to earn points, and last year all three teams missed the playoffs, starting with the Sharks and the Ducks and the Kings. One of these teams will end up with more points than the two others. The question is, and boy, do the Kings have a lot of talented prospects. Weeks he talked about the World Juniors. Which of these three, those numbers are not pretty, which of these three will end up with the most points this season? Last year, it was the Ducks. Week C. I'm going to go with the Kings. And the reason being is I think their goaltending is going to be outstanding. Jonathan Quick had a long extended time to get healthy. I love Cal Peterson, who played his college hockey at Notre Dame. And really, Rob Blake and Luke Robitaille and this staff have done a good job. Uh, Todd McClellan had this team trending in the right direction in the back half of the season. We had a chance to spend some time with them at the Stadium Series game out at Colorado Springs at the Air Force Academy. They have a lot of prospects in their group, and I think some of those kids might be able to come in and surprise. So a healthy Jeff Carter, too. I think the L.A. Kings trend upward this year. And, hey, the best part about them is the pantry's full. They could yeah, always reach no, back true. and no grab kidding. some of those young players, Rupper. Yeah, you know, there's, there's no expiration. They got some guys that are going to be good for a long time in that organization. But when I look at these three teams, these California teams, two of the teams have super bright fut futures. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I'm not sure the future is now. But when you look at Anaheim and you look at the Kings, those are those two uh, that, that I'm talking about. The, the San Jose Sharks, though, they're a team I think that will get the most points out of those teams right now because I'm hoping for them that a 56-game schedule will help them. They're veteran guys. Look, at you, they need a bounce back from a lot of they guys. Totally a lot of guys. Yes. And when you need a bounce back from that many, you know you're going to get some and hit it with some of them. Mm -hmm. Timo Meyer has got to be better. Eric Carlson's got to be healthy and better. Brent Burns has got, got another level. Martin of Jones. Game. Martin Jones has simply just got to be better, hoping that Devin Dubnik can help in that area oh, yeah. uh, to, to help the backbone of that team. I just think this team has, has too much pride. Uh, they have players, you know, Evander Kane. They, they, they need a bounce back. And mm -hmm. I'm hoping that fit for them, the 56-game season will be that perfect kind of schedule for them. I think this is going to be the team the, one of the teams that's really grinding out for that fourth spot for the playoffs. So I think they're going to get the most points out of the three California teams. Doug Wilson, a total anomaly. Since he's been calling the shots there, they've had 100-point season after oh, yeah. 100. Everything has been there with the exception of a cup win. Of course, they played for the cup against the Pens and lost.